I think you all know that I've always felt the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Every American should feel confident that their deposits will be there if and when they need them. Second, the management of these banks will be fired. If the bank is taken over by FDIC, the people running the bank should not work there anymore. Third, investors in the banks will not be protected. They knowingly took a risk, and when the risk didn't pay off, investors lose their money. That's how capitalism works. And fourth, there are important questions of how these banks got into the circumstance in the first place. We must get the full accounting of what happened and why those responsible can be held accountable. In my administration, no one, in my no one is above the law. I think you all see that things are progressing along. You know, hey, keep the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's it's happening. It's happening right in front of everybody's eyes, man. We always say it. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. It's the brother Gabar Dama coming back at you. Another quick hitter. Okay. They making a run. They're going to, you know, it's maybe a trial run, but they're making a run on the banks. All this is leading up to what? The M-O-T to the B, the M-A-R to the K. We all know what that means. It's written in Revelation. Okay. Ezekiel 7 and verse 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of wrath of the Lord Yahweh. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. You know, and all this, see Esau Edom thinks he's slick, but all this has always been in the mix. This is why we stay occupied in prophecies. Okay? Because we see these things happening on the earth and we're giving, you know, hey, the Israelites warning. The scripture said, give them warning for me. You know, never hold your peace, man. Never. Let's go here. Okay. All this is happening. All roads are leading to that M-A-R-K. And that's a fact. While you got other camps and other people pussyfooting around, you're going to get 100% truth here. And there's, no, and there's nothing more than 100% truth. Second Ezra 16 and verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils, like Dr. Elder says, evils <laughs> grow upon the uh, earth, sword and famine and great confusion. OK, so, you know, again, they said they're going to make that run and do that run on a bank. What on a, on a Friday evening? All right. And nobody's going to be able to get. Their so-called riches, which, you know, they're going to switch that over to uh, the, uh, the petrodollar over to a uh, digital currency anyway. All roads lead to the M-A-R-K, to the M-O-T, to the B. All right. Karagma. It's easy to see it. And there's great confusion. And uh, all these other countries, you see it. It's in the news. It's not in the mainstream news, <laughs> you know, but it's in the news. And they sit there and they tell you exactly what they're getting ready to do. It's easy to see it, okay? They're going to make a run. Ecclesiastes 5 and verse 10. This is why wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Who do you really trust in? Do you have faith? The scripture said if you've got faith of a, of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. You see that? He, that's what he wants out of us. He wants the true 100% uh, uh, sincerity. Ecclesiastes 5 and verse 10. You have no fear of your how about Shimmy outside. That's the problem. You're stuck in this world. Damn this place. Chant it down every chance you get. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance will increase. This is also vanity. You see? And the scripture said they already have that constellation. And what they have is going to be taken away from them. You don't own anything anyway. This is not our rest. This is not our rest, man. It, it, it isn't. Second, uh, Salakia. First Corinthians 
This is hockey. First Chronicles. I can't believe I said Corinthians. Wow. 22 verse 19. Now set your heart and your soul. Your heart is your mind and your soul to seek the Lord Yahweh, your power. Arise therefore and build ye the sanctuary of the Lord Yahweh, thy power. To bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord Yahweh and the holy vessels of the Most High into the house that be built to the name of the Lord Yahweh. See that? Bring everything to that place. The house of David is being built. Huh? The house of David is being built right in front of everybody's eyes. You know? And all these people, man, and you, you got to watch these people too, man. There's a whole lot of bug outs, you know, be, uh, beyond bug outs. You never know what these people really want to do to you. The scripture said there'd be spirits created for vengeance, but don't touch one of his little ones. All hell's going to break loose if you try that. I'm just saying. Let's go here. Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom. Let's go back. Slock you. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Verse 5. The Lord Yahweh is exalted. For he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. You see that? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. See, the fear. You got to have a healthy fear of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. If you have no fear, man, you, you're not going to you're not going to make it. He said, I will leave you there and melt you. You don't want that. You don't want that work from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. He knows you from the, from the beginning of the earth. He knows how to really get at you. You see? Verse seven, behold, their valiant ones shall cry without. The ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lie waste. The, uh, the wayfaring man ceaseth. He have broken the covenant. He had despised the cities. He regarded no man. Let's keep going right here. This is beautiful. Knowledge and wisdom, man. Knowledge and wisdom. And where do you get that? Sophia, the, our first love. This is what we've been put here to do in these last days is give the testimony and give the truth and bid them to the marriage. Give them warning before your how about Shimei Yahusha comes back, man. You see that? The earth mourneth and languish, languisheth. Salakia. Lebanon is ashamed and hewn down. Sharon is like a wilderness and, and Bash, uh, Bashan, Slakia, and Carmel shake off their fruits. Verse 10, now will I rise, saith the Lord Yahweh. Now will I exalt. You see that? Will I be exalted, Slakia? Now will I lift up myself. Just like in the days uh, uh, back in Exodus, man. So he could show his power. You see? So he could show his power. He hardened Pharaoh's heart. It's the same thing today. Egyptian to being said against Egyptian. It's the new Egypt. The new Pharaohs. And everybody's back in their lot. You worried about the wrong things. If you have faith, and if, and if the just, just you'll live by faith. If you have faith, you, you will understand that Yahweh about Shem Shai, he's got us. Okay? Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. The devil shall cast some of you into prison. Ye shall have tribulation ten days, but be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Man, wow. Second Ezra 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. I had a vision about this. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their, uh, of their actions shall stand in their power. You see? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. How? It's all coming down the line. It's all coming down the chain. See? It's all been set in motion since before the beginning. And our people don't want to hear it. They, uh, you know, uh, uh, you got brothers, you know, so-called brothers, if you will, on the highways and byways teaching that this thing is, is, is sin. When it's, when it's clear to see all the roads are leading to the MOT to the B. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. 
The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Now you got these, you got these people, you know, heading to the bank talking about, I, I'll get, a, I'm going to get all this. And then, what's the point of getting it out anyway? What you going to do with it? It's worthless paper. Anyhow, it's been that way ever since what? 1933. <laughs> Come on, man. Look at that. Ed uh, daily edification. That's beautiful. Verse 18. It's like here. Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. See that? No pity. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. They're going to cast their gold and, and silver out in the streets. Why? Because it's worthless. It's not going to mean anything. All right. Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time. You better trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, our true power, our only power. Matthew 24, verse 3. And he has set upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? What? What this world that we current living in, right? Not not boom, 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 blowing everything up and the world is just destroyed all the way. Nope. Heaven is on earth. You know, as the scripture said, and Hamashiach and Hawashiach answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. You see that? Take no man, take no heed, take heed that no man deceive you, Salakia. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Hamashiach. And shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. It's all happening. These are simple scriptures. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And another thing that can pull, uh, bring upon that famine is having no money. You see, come to find out, you Edomites, you you patriots, you know, and you two thirds, you uh, you bougie uh, boules, okay, and all you people that will not hearken to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you are going to see that the only thing that that's that's going to be a comfort, a shield, a buckler is Yahweh Shai. And the knowledge and the wisdom that has been given to you freely. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. They shall, then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated. What did that say? Hated of all nations for my name's sake. And that definitely is happening. You, uh, they damn sure don't love us. They don't love those Hebrew Israelites. You know, they're called the black Hebrew Israelites when that's a falsehood. Come on, man. But that's all right. The scripture said you are going to be hated for my name's sake. If the world hate you, know it hated me first. All right. You better lay up your treasures in heaven. Hebrews 13 and verse 5. Let your conversation be without uh, cover. Let me let me change that garbage. There you go. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have you see that for he have for he have said i will never leave thee nor forsake thee that's what he said you don't you don't believe what he said you don't believe in the words you don't believe in these scriptures he said i'll never leave you those of his what his elect that's what it's all about those of his elect Mm, that's beautiful. Verse six. So that we may boldly say the Lord is my helper and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. You see that the scripture said, fear not the man that can uh, that can kill. You better feel fear the man that can kill the body and soul. OK. Psalms 91 and verse four. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shall thou trust. Who do you who are you trusting in? This place? Esau Edom? 
The so-called the so-called white man, you you trusting in uncertain riches? Lay up your treasures in heaven. He shall cover you. He shall cover thee with with his wings. It's like you with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. What knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of salvation. The fear of Yahabashim Yahushai is his treasure. See that? And I won't make this too long. It's simple. All these, and, 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 again, it might be a trial run. It might be a trial run, just like that Fang Fang was. You know what I'm talking about. Juicy juice. Hmm? Them Capri Suns, right? It's a trial run. It's all coming to a head, man. Psalms 91, 94 and verse 22. I don't know why I've been doing that. So lock you for that. But the Lord Yahweh is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge. You see that? We put everything, we put everything, our heart, spirit, and soul, everything, everything we are. You know, no, we don't put nothing in nowhere. Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai said, I chose you. Fully persuaded in your own mind, seeking out uh, the salvation of Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai. Daily, staying occupied, in prophecies, meditating therein day and night. Verse 23, and he shall bring upon their own, upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord Yahweh, our power, shall cut them off. So either you believe it or you don't. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shimei Yahushua, and hopefully it was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly father, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors again, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom we learn from daily. Yep, that's right. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Keep pushing. Let's go. Keep pushing. Never stop, man. Keep that charge of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Oh, yeah. And every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwame Yacharala, Wa Abai Baba. Boom. Shalom.